All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some more Grixis Control version two. Uh, as you know, we played Grixis Control the very first day that War of the Spark was illegal, where I tried to make it like the Grixis discarded deck that I really liked from the previous format, uh, full of disinformation campaign and ritual of soot and things like that. It didn't go very well for us though. Our, our deck was like pretty slow and um, just didn't, you know, just didn't work out too well. So I made this version that we played the next day that we played on Friday. And it, it looked a lot better that, you know, based, we based it around Thief of Sanity and a lot of one and two mana spells, um, as opposed to a lot of three and four mana spells. So we're trying to just uh, have a lot more cheaper interaction to uh, trade cards with our opponent um, at a fairly low mana cost over and over again and uh, early and then have one of our powerhouses take over the game late, whether it's Thief, Bolas, Bolas, or Eldest Reborn. I'm making one change here this time. I'm going to uh, bring, try a Liliana. Liliana's been really impressive. We just played an Esper Hero deck that had a couple Lilianas in it and the card looked awesome. And so I'm going to try one in here over the fourth Nickel Bolas. I, I think I wanted the fourth Nickel Bolas Dragon God. I think I wanted to take out the fourth... Uh, Nickel Bolas, Dragon God anyway, or Cutter Reborn. I wanted to get rid of one of the five mana cards. This isn't really helping how we're just replacing it with a six mana card. It's not really lowering my curve. But uh, the Liliana looked awesome, so I'm going to go ahead and try that out. Um, keeping the same sideboard as we had last time, it worked pretty good. You know, we got the Enter the God Eternals for red, uh, Kefnet for aggro decks. Kefnet was really impressive last time that we played it. Uh, you know, we got to you know play it against like a Mardu Aristocrats deck and copy Ritual of Set for two mana and, and got to do some cool things like that. I'm not, I think my least favorite card in the sideboard are the two copies of Hostage Taker. I could certainly see replacing those with other things. Like we already have a lot of anti-creature stuff over here. And I think these are, these are my least, two, my two least favorite cards. As we play this deck here in through the ranked matches, we'll kind of see how it goes. And I could certainly see replacing these Hostage Takers with other things, but I'm going to keep them with Hostage Taker uh, first. So, all right, let's go ahead and get to some games and uh, try this out, see how the deck feels, see if we need to change anything about it. Another thing that I'm going to be keeping my eye on is uh, the Moment of Cravings in the main deck instead of, like, Cast Down. Um, let me just make sure I have the right deck. I actually... Okay, I do have the right deck. Okay. Just, just double-checking, because I wasn't uh, paying too much attention to that. Um... Yeah, Sarkin was... Yeah, we played Sarkin yesterday, and I really liked Sarkin. But yeah, I, I do have a lot of fives. I don't really want more fives. Thanks, thanks, Test. I guess. We'll see how, see how this works. If they're playing a fast deck, it will be bad for us. And I was, you know, hoping to find a shock land in our first couple draws. Looks like we got a Grixis mirror. Yeah, Godf Godfrey, uh, Grixis discard with Davriel. Uh, check out my decks. There's one in there that I just put in there today. I think we're, we're going to be playing it tomorrow. Um, I, Grixis discard with Davriel. Carnage is really rough. Yeah, Carnage is really rough here. Ah. 
I don't mind getting rid of any of those. Sulphur Falls is definitely gone. And then do I discard Fifth Land or do I discard Thief? So I like ticking up and just reducing resources. I think that that's just so strong. You know, us drawing a card and them getting rid of something. They just got rid of a Cry of the Carnarium, which that, that card doesn't do the most. Alright, so we're going to let them resolve their Search for Escanta trigger. And then Yeah, and then bedevil this thing. All right, not bad. One land away now from flipping Nicol Bolas. It's likely our opponent will find an answer to it, though. Here, but maybe not. Yeah, they, they declined for Kefnet because of Ascanta. And they only had two black sources, which is why they didn't play the bolus. Perfect. This power is incredible. There's a lot of good choices. Dragon God, Ugin, and Kefnet. I'm getting Ugin with the life totals low. I want to make two twos. Death means nothing to me. Do not defy the designs of an elder drama. Secrets manifest before you. When should mono blue mulligan? I will spare you um, in exchange for eternal servitude. You don't just mulligan a hand with no curious obsession. I, I wouldn't say that's just like an automatic mulligan if you don't have a curious obsession. My genius is a match. Those are not good cards. Um, there have been some really good uh, mono blue articles. I remember finding a, a mono blue. I remember somebody. I don't know who wrote it or anything, but there was like a mono blue guide on Reddit that I read. Um, how can I deal two damage? I deal two haste damage.
It was written. It was written, I think, before, like right before Guilds of Ravnica, or no, no, sorry, it was after Guilds of Ravnica, but right before. Um, the next set, Ravnica Allegiance. Because I remember I did a donation deck for Mono Blue and. Use that one. Isn't death the music? I know more than you could learn in a thousand lifetimes. That's a lot of lifetimes. So I'd rather them copy thought or I'd rather them copy duress than copy thought erasure. Truth lies beyond vision. And that's why I wanted to play the Ascanta first so that I did not get to rest. What are we doing here? <clears throat> How many counter spells do we actually want in our deck? This is the question. So that's seven removal spells against Bolas and Thieva Sanity. If I go like this, like seven early ones. All right, I like this. Could have Phoenix, that's true. They could have Phoenix, that's true. Hmm. Just wait, Shock, you can do it. I think you have to it's just like two weeks, you can wait. You get Get to draft over and over and over again. You can do it. Is Ugin better than Liliana in my deck? I'm not sold that it is. I'm honestly not sold it is. I, I really like... I really like Liliana. I mean, I like them both. I, I'm not really completely sold either way. But I'm... I'm perfectly happy with the... Yeah, the Orzhov midrange is is on is on my decks still. Uh, you can find it there. You know, streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. Uh, it's still the, the list up from Thursday right now. We may change a couple of stuff. 
you know, we may change something in it. But I think it's still the list that from Thursday, but you know, it'll be really close to that. So we're not blocking, we're, we should be flipping our bolus here. Alright, no removal spell. My power is boundless. The dead shall serve me. For gods once. I am one again. Another tide suffer for your cause. With with like the game a little later, I'm I'm going with like this bolus. I have a few openings for more minions. That's if annoying. To try to reduce resources from the opponent. There's just not really room for Angrath anymore. Angrath is not better than Nicol Bolas Dragon God. So we had a Bolas grab a Bolas that killed a Bolas. And so then my opponent played a Bolas now. And so I think they're going to kill my Bolas with their Bolas. No more fire, no more steel. Defying your pain has that. consequence. No! I outsmarted you eons ago. Eons ago? I don't even know what that means. That's so long ago. I'm with the Thought Erasure still to protect the you Eldest Reborn. No weakness I cannot exploit. Okay. Got the first one. Whoa, we're at 483. That number is going down. <laughs> Did he say Nom? <laughs> All right, worked out pretty well there. There are so many Elder Dragons. Why did our opponent quit there? Because we are going to have the Eldest Reborn that they were not going to be able to answer. Well, we gonna draw lands? I think we can draw the lands. I think we can draw lands. Yeah. Uh, all the decks you can find here on the Stream Decker page. They kept a card on top, so I wanted to give them another chance to... I want to give them like the chance to draw that card on top before I cast duress. We just gotta draw two lands. Let's draw some lands. All right, not yet. So this is kind of tough. Um, Lava coil. You know, basically, we may need to save moment of craving for a Danto Vanguard, but then if we. If we coil here, though, then if they draw a Benelish Marshal, then I can't kill Benelish Marshal. They'd have to have a third land plus Benelish Marshal. I'll go with the coil. The other thing about Moment of Craving, the Dauntless Bodyguard, of course, they sacrifice it so we wouldn't actually gain the two life. Oh, 
I'll wait a little bit on the duress, give them a little bit more time to draw a... Because obvi obviously they just top decked that, you know, like that wasn't a card they had in hand. But I'll give them some time to draw a Conclave Tribunal. That's what our duress is going to do, is going to just be looking for Tribunal. Alright, we'll cast this to help find land. There's a Tribunal. And there's a land. That's a good card to draw. It's also a good one. Hey, Drago. Glad you're having some success with it. What do I think of Tyrant Scorn? I'm not a big fan of it. But I don't know. Maybe I'm underrating the card, honestly. It, it honestly was pretty good for us last game. Soon, all bow before Nicole Bola. And yeah, they get to kill my bolus, but that's okay. I want Benelish Marshall out of there. Ooh, we got Benelish Marshall out of there just in time. Nice. Yeah, that's what... Yeah, that's the Gruel Midrange I, I really like. That's my favorite deck right now. Alright, so they're protecting the Knight token. I'll still block the Knight token so that gets rid of the, the Bodyguard. I'd rather get rid of the Bodyguard than... Oh. I one of those one ones. Schemes to attend to. I'm playing it safe. No, twenty seven lands is not necessarily too many for a four color deck, no. Did they just not activate? Oh, they couldn't activate first for it because of Tithe Taker. Ha. Huh. Good job, Tithe Taker. All right, well, let's bring in all of our sweepers. We got three Cry, two Soot, two God Eternals. Hostage Taker is probably pretty cool. Got a bunch of things to bring in there. We'll take out Thief. Take out Eldest Reborn, take out Dragon God, take out Liliana. I don't really want these Thought Erasures in. Like, I don't want three Duress and four Thought Erasure. Yeah, Anchorus Rampage is not great, that's true. <clears throat> no, Duress is not awful against the deck. I mean, we just saw it. Our, our Duress early took their, took a History Banalia, and, you know, we got to, we double Duress on turn two. We took a Allegiance Landing and a History Banalia. And, like, the Conclave Tribunal is, like, one of their, their important cards against my stuff. And so, like, having Duress, for, like, even later in the game to take a, snag a Conclave Tribunal first is pretty good. Am I actually playing Thief of Sanity? Oh yeah, they're gonna have... Yeah, that's true, they're gonna have Dovin's Veto also. Yeah, I want all these dresses.
Alright, we're gonna have our one thief. Then after we play our sweepers, kind of stabilize a little bit, then Thief can help keep getting a bunch of one drops from them like it just did and, and really help us stabilize over a longer game. Yes, yeah, the decks perform pretty well. I don't remember our exact record on Sunday. What's today? Today's Sunday, never mind. On Friday with the deck. But it, it did did good stuff for us. Yeah, we went like four and two or five and two or something like that. That sounds right. Game's not over yet. They can just draw a bunch of spells in a row and us not draw any lands. That's a good card. Let's get a card. I'm just never going to be dealing with this Benelish Marshal. We have to draw an untapped land. We need a Bedevil Benelish Marshal. No. Nope. Ugh. So yeah, the game was not was not over. Maybe I want the Zangrass Rampage back. No. Um, Ox, I've never, I've never been to the Aetherhub website before. I don't know of any Aetherhub profile picture I could have. All right, we got some lands. Let's see how that works out for us. Ooh. That's a good card. That's a good card, too. That's not a good card. That's a very bad card. I into battle as your champion. That's a very Justice. bad, bad card. I will lend you my strength. So 
So playing the bull is here to try to be able to attack the Gideon. I'm hoping they don't have a tribunal. Alright, good. That's not a tribunal. Looking for a land. Land would be pretty clutched. Kill this Benelish Marshal. We've got two looks at a land. Got there. Uh, you can mill four. I guess I should have me mill four, so I flip as Kanta. Hey, those are good cards. All right, not the worst. <laughs> Made them get I rid of another worse. marshal. That vanguard was going to be big trouble after I got rid of two cry of the carnariums. Yeah, I should mill ourselves. Yeah, I I just chose them, and then I was like, wait a minute, I should mill myself, and it was our, I already clicked it, so it was too late. But yeah, I should mill myself for Escanta. Ugh, that's the problem with getting rid of those golden demises. But at least we'll be able to get rid of this Gideon Black Blade now. Your light will clean so we're at 16. It's not bad life total to be at. It's not a bad card to draw either. See, good thing I didn't mill myself, otherwise I would not have drawn that Ritual of Soot. Of course, our token would die to the Ritual of Soot also. We're going to wait. Retreat! Before playing it. But it's a good card to have in hand. Keep them from flipping Legion's Landing. Not that I remember Shadow Sapiens. I don't believe so. Nicobolus. Still a good card. They didn't know about the ritual of set of my hand. I don't think it was it wasn't it wasn't revealed. But yeah, they could have gained a life by chumping with their lifelink creature. Yeah, the, the ranks are kind of crazy. Because, yeah, we went from, I don't know, like, seven, 800 to, like, 400-something to 200-something. But then we'll, like, go back down to, like, 1,000 if we lose. They're just really volatile. I like this hand. So are we actually going to play Thief of Sanity on turn 3? I think so. Yeah, I'll, I'll play Thief of Sanity on turn 3. Uh, have them spend their mana like their, the next turn, like killing the Thief, and then Carnage resolves and takes out two cards on turn 4, and then probably Carnage again on turn 5, 
Take out another two cards and then Nicol Bolas, Dragon God on turn six. Obviously that's, you know, all all that can change, but I think that's the, the plan right now. I don't think we need to... Um, like wait until like carnage carnage and then like you know wait like a really long ways for thief i think it's okay to play the thief on turn three and just use that three mana and not waste it ah, especially with having another one we'll have another one for later on I'm t i'll be carnaging next turn So today's the 28th. Um, need to get the Asper Hero deck going for the... Uh, YouTube channel. Man, we have so many thieves. Maybe I should keep playing them. I guess I will. If I do go Carnage, we do, you know, we get to knock out two cards, uh, which kind of puts us even with them being on the draw. But then they get to have, like, their Absorb available. I guess we're just going to keep resolving these things. Hey, Noxie, welcome back. One day. Let your weak yeah, we're playing some ladder with like, some of the decks that I like quite a bit. Got a lot of. I'm known for my excellent type. Uh, responses of wanting us to play ladder. Yet. Wish I had one more land. It's only a matter of time. If we had one more land, we would be able to play the Dragon God as well. Best of three. Yeah, I don't... I play best of one whenever we have donation decks for it, but that's it. But yeah, I play best of three. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I could have I could have plus one to fairy, un untap two lands, and then carnival to fairy. Yeah, I should have done that. I won't hide from the world any longer. I really should have seen that coming. Not yeah, you so should have. Fast. I just did that last turn. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my just will. All we have are Nicol Bolas, Dragon Gods, and Thief of Sanities. That's all we got. <laughs> Schemes are never ending. All right, got game one, Ugh, which is good. We don't have very much in our sideboard. We have like a duress and some negates, taking out moment of cravings and lava coils. Um, that's kind of about it. I don't think I really, I don't think we really need Kefnet. It'd be like Kefnet over Carnival. I don't think we need Kefnet. No, it didn't take long. Uh, we started not this week, but last week. We started last week. We started playing ranked and got to Mythic in like about ten days or so. But we, you know, I didn't just like only play ranked. You know, it was. I played a whole lot of like the other stuff too. It's just we just played a, a little bit of ranked throughout. You know, like we played a couple hours. I'd probably say a couple hours a day for like the ten days and got to ranked or got to mythic. And now we are up at 283. This is the highest I've ever been so far. But 
I'm sure if we lose, we'll go back down to like a thousand or whatever. Yeah, this is the Grixis Control version 2 that's on YouTube. Yep. Uh, one card change. We took out the fourth Dragon God for a Liliana. But yeah, it's the same deck. <laughs> we don't have any bounties for Dick Sporting Goods. Again right now. CO Min with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much for that support. CO Min, I really do appreciate that. Get get your hype boats in the chat. Hey Rifla. That's sub at number nine on the day. One more from our first sub goal. We'll crack a pack open. We'll count it towards our next sub battle stream. I'm thinking about so we, we have a sub battle stream in the queue right now. I'm thinking about doing it on um on Saturday. I think Lily is good, but I am not, you know, not 100% sold that Liliana needs to be in the deck. You know, I'm not going that high, but I, yeah, I like Liliana. I think it's a good card, and so trying it out here. Yeah, I'm kind of the same thing. I'm, I'm not sure if we need... Lily or not. Would I want them to take Dragon God? Like, if I give them the option, would I want them to have Dragon... Like, basically, it's either I get to say you take Negate, or I can say you can have the option of Bolas or Negate. And give them the option. I think I would rather have negate. So basically giving them the option is saying that I'd rather have negate. The worst case scenario. Could still play stuff in some speed. That's a that was a great card. Do not want to keep like I, I want the negate still up for Teferi. You know, like if I if I if I play Carnage and they you know counter it or you know not or either way you know if they counter it they get to play Teferi. I don't even I don't even care about this card. The thing though is I, I want I want this to get negated, like how they shocked in here. I want them to negate this. I want them to protect their unmoored ego, because then I want Carnage to resolve. So that's good. I want to trade counter spells with me having less mana and having like card like Carnage. Yeah, I don't I don't care about the unmoored ego. But I want I cared about the Dovin's veto. I have other plans. I just refresh your stream. Deckmaster is is working. The reason to give your opponent the the option on that that duress earlier, how I didn't negate that, is because I thought basically you cast negate if you think your other spell is more valuable than negate. But I thought negate was more valuable than the nickel bolus dragon god at that point, and so I wanted them to take the nickel bolus dragon god and not negate. So I didn't cast my negate. They still, of course, had the option to take negate, but I, I wanted the negate more. That's the worst card for us to see.
What's in here? There's just a, a Teferi. I've been disappointed by Narset so far. I, you know, first day I definitely had a bunch of Narsets. I even had like one main, a couple more board in here, and I've been disappointed with it. Our opponent shocked so that they could activate Escanta and then get something if they don't want it. Um, Counselors inside it away. Wow. Well, that's really bad. Yeah, New Teferi's good. I can't really imagine they'd miss completely on things for Thief of Sanity between two Ascanta activations and looking at search with the search. They don't have anything in their hand right now. There's no reason to cast her S. This insight's in their graveyard. So we're going to game three. We're not being Ascanta after it transformed. With seeing Unmoored Ego in their deck, I think I... And also not, like, a couple of things. Seeing that and also not seeing... Not seeing Thief of Sanity at all from them. I think I'm bringing in this Kefnet. But I'm not sure which one out of Carnival, Rampage, and Bedevil I want to cut. I'm cutting one of these Rakdos cards. I just don't know which one I want to. I mean, this is basically only Carnage. No, I still like that card. It's, it's either Rampage or Bedevil. I guess Bedevil costs the most. They all do the same thing. So I'll get rid of that one. It's the logic behind No Contempt. It just costs, it costs four mana. And... I haven't really found it to be necessary when we have things that are cheaper, like Bedevil and Angrass Rampage that take out Planeswalkers. Coil can exile stuff. Just haven't found that we need a 4-mana card. This looks a whole lot like our last hand. So while that duress would just take my duress, I like not letting my opponent see my hand. As Kanta. Nope. 
Okay, I'm going Carnage next turn. It's possible they discard the Mortify. How I ignored it. If for the best of three ranked, if you lose, if you win the match, you get two wins. If you lose the match, you get two losses. As far as like the other, like the other ranked parts, you either get two wins or two losses when you're playing best of three. Doesn't matter if you win. You know, it doesn't matter if it goes to game three or game two. So I'd assume that's Nickel Bowl's Dragon God again. I think the only way one of those two cards in my hand is named would be if my opponent's watching. I mean, I would like they gotta just be choosing Nickel Bowl's Dragon God again. Yeah. I'm leading with Nickel Bowl's the Ravager here to either take the Mortify or the other card. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just go with Capnet. No. Interesting. Their other card was better than Mortify. Interesting. If you show remorse, you're not bouncing Nicobolus, are you? Let me replay it and make you discard another card. I mean, I guess you get to draw a card. So I guess, yeah, I guess that you can do that. I feel like Mortify would be was. I think Mortify is better than Teferi if those were their two cards. Don't worry, I got this. If you're seeing a bug in, in Deck Master, usually just refresh in the stream. Should help you out there and get rid of it. Yeah, Teferi would blank Kefnet's ability. That is true. Attack. Really hoping they didn't draw a removal spell here. We will meet again. <clears throat> All right, no removal spell. So let's grab the Teferi. I mean, I could just draw two cards. Drawing two cards is awesome. But I think I want to grab this Teferi to keep them from casting instant speed stuff. That's kind of cool. I like them not casting instant speed things. Uh, they didn't just chemistry's inside in response at all. Here we go. So now next turn we get to instant speed thought erasure. We can we can draw step thought erasure next turn. Let's slow this down. Rude. Reverse. Not rude. 
I always have an answer. So they didn't play a land, so they probably have a spell. Uh, it's getting a little laggy, getting a little choppy. Stick through it. <laughs> I always have an answer. It's good now. Another unmoored ego. God eternal calf debt. All right. Sure. Just replace that with a thief of sanity. isn't a fight you can win. So I think Let's normally... Hey, cup of tea. So normally I would want the other to ferry, but here I want to protect Thief, and so I want this draw step Thought Erasure. They can't cast anything. Okay, well they just found a land. You know... So now they, yeah, they can pay four mana to Chemister's Insight, but they're dead. So we just grab, grab other Teferi. Yeah, no, that, yeah, the Kefnet was revealed, so they knew about it. Thank you, Cup of Tea. Hey, C. Wham. All right, it's 3 no. We are above the 200 mark now. Yeah, we were about to be able to get the other Teferi um, with the Eldest Reborn. Still don't love the Hostage Shakers. I don't really... I don't know, I guess we don't change anything. Yeah, I guess we don't change anything yet. Hey, Minty wins. Welcome everybody in here. Over 2,000 people in here. Hope you all are enjoying War of the Spark standard as much as I am. If you're kind of newer to the channel, of course, my name is Todd Stevens. I stream each and every day here from 3 to 10 Eastern. And if you miss any of the decks or you want to see some replays, you can check them all out on the YouTube channel over there, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. That's where all the replays go. Ooh, yeah, we can keep this. Could you explain what's the use of Carnival Carnage? Yeah, it's a removal spell that kills small creatures. Um, and it can just be a mind rot, get a couple cards out of the opponent's hand. It just does both of those. Um, does a lot of things. Hey, 600. Thank you so much for the resub there. We're, try we're just kind of trying out this Liliana, seeing if we need it or not. Hey, that's sub number 10. All right, I'll mark on our sub battle stream page that we got a sub goal and after this we'll crack open a pack if i remember y'all help remind me to crack a pack open after this i have not checked out an updated version of is it phoenix i'm not a big fan of is it phoenix myself like i'm not saying like i don't think it's good i'm not like a big fan of playing the deck it is a good deck 
I've played against it a couple of times, at, like an updated version, and it looks pretty good. Uh, the red finale in particular has been impressive. That with Sahili. Hey, welcome, Black Trepetto. Thanks for that resub for half a year. I'd like to attack, please. Thank you. Mm. I'm going to take this to help look for a land. You know, we're taking the Contempt. There we go. If I take Absorb, my opponent can, like, wait till my turn to cast the Contempt. And then... Um, Hey, Vladimir's getting in on the action as well. Thanks, Vladimir. Cheers. Then I have to like waste the mana on my own turn to deal with, like, to absorb the contempt. But now I get to play a bolus, or I could carnage. Bolus. I hope they did not find a Kai's Wrath. I took a Kai's Wrath. Hopefully one of these other ones is not another one. Don't do it. No Kai's Wrath. No Kai's Wrath. Okay, good. Not a Kai's Wrath. You know, they could Mortify Thief, and that's okay. I mean, I would prefer them not to, but... Oh, gosh. That is not good for my opponent. I can get rid of any... Be gone. Living I will not defeat. Dematerializing? Huh. And I guess I... Kill this to help Eldest Reborn, I guess. I don't even need to. That card doesn't do anything. Hmm. I, yeah, I guess I do. I'll be back. Just you wait. That card's cool. Sir, hold that thought. All right, so we did a bunch of negates, duress, and cut lava coil, moment of craving. That's what we did the first time. And then the second time, I cut up a devil for a kefnet. I think on the draw, I. Th I kind of want to just keep the Bedevil. I'm going to cut a, a Carnival for a, a Kefnet. I'm going to do that. I'm a little little worried about like their Thief of Sanity with me being on the draw. I want to keep in uh, a good amount of removal for it with the Rampages and Bedevils. We had somebody in here before had a pre-release code, but they, they gave it away. There may be somebody else with one. Well, T Money List, how about you got you have an extra one? Uh, M T Time says that they will subscribe for a pre-release code, so I guess. So if you don't mind, send it over to MT time. Um, 
the crypt. <clears throat> Our hand is not good. No, but I don't love mulliganing in these kind of matchups, and I'm basically just taking a hand with a lot of lands and keeping that, keeping a bunch of lands. Yeah, Admiral counter pushed. Mono blue is a good deck to start with, absolutely. And that was the thing that our hand did have. It had a removal spell for Thief, so I liked that. So do I want a Carnage or Thought Erasure? So I think we, we need Nickel Bull's Dragon God to resolve next turn, so I think that um, going with the Thought Erasure to look for anything that, you know, looking for a counter spell is the better thing to do. Yeah, they brought in, brought in all their threats. Yeah, keeping the land on top so it will go, you know, I want them to take, you know, look at the land off the Thief of Sanity, not some spell. Bleh. That is some spell. Oh my gosh. Well, I messed that up. That was bad. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, I needed the third black source in play. I did not have three black sources yet. That was my fault. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, we were in a bad situation. I have not played any Finale of Devastation. It looks pretty sweet, though. I think it's good in the Arclight Phoenix deck. Or wait. No, Devastation's the green one, isn't it? I feel like Promise is supposed to be a green one and Devastation is supposed to be... The other way, but whatever. Anyway, uh, no, I have not I have not played that one either, though. I want to play an elf deck with that. That's on our list to do, but... So many, so many things to, to play. Thoughts on the new Boros deck? Do you think it'll be competitive or just for fun? Are you talking about the, the Boros Twitch Prime deck? That one is just for fun, if that's the one you're talking about. All right, we got our three black sources in play now. We're good to go there. I do not have an artifacts build, no. Well, as Kanta's doing his job, we've got rid of two lands. So that's nine out of our 25 lands so far. So we keep getting rid of lands. This one's not a land, but I maybe need to keep this. 
Should probably keep it. I'm not super impressed with the Naya Pump Spells deck, but then again, I only just played it against it. Um. Uh, with, with a deck with a ton of removal. Two absorbs. Just have all spells. I'm not taking absorb. It's either Dawnbringer or Contempt. We can overload their mana. I guess it's just Dawnbringer. How like how close are we to flipping this as Kanta? Oh, uh, that was terrible. All right, let's just flip mine. That was perfect. How do they not absorb that? They just want a hostage taker? That is greedy. It's been pretty cool. Never heard anyone. Yeah, I know. Oh, you're talking about the Boros Feather deck when you were talking about a Boros deck. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, th I think that deck still needs work. I don't think it's. I don't think it's perfect yet. Yeah, the the art on Liliana is just so good. Fine, I'll leave. Yeah, fine. Looks like we're gonna flip our opponents as Kanta for them. Hmm. So I'm gonna find a Mortify on their side. I don't think I need to hold the negate up there. Okay, well, their last card was a Mortify. Well. Oh, well. Um, yep, I'll take this one. Thank you. Alright, start getting there. Start getting their cards. My intellect is without limit. So do they have Kaya's Wrath? Their auto tappers tapping all their black sources. All right, GG. Ah, uh, froze again.
So playing against a lot of Esper. We're cracking this pack open. Because we were talking about how we're going to crack a pack open. Store of. Hey, Travis. Welcome back. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, we're at 123. Did that forget into our sub goal? We'll crack open the last one in our. If we get to another sub goal. Now Lich is jank level. Yeah, it's not. It's not very good. <sighs> it's hard to switch decks when we're having. Um, so much success. Yeah, the MeUndies deal is you can get you get 15% off your purchase go, by going through my referral link. That's all you have to do is just go through the referral link there. Um, if you sign up for their membership, which means you get sent like a monthly thing, you get 33% off of their products, um, their underwear and socks and stuff like that. And then you use, just go through the link, uh, you get 15% off. Also... I I really like their socks at MeUndies in particular. Like their dress socks are really thick, really comfortable. Uh, it feels like feels like you're wearing padded shoes. Um, if you if you like wear dress shoes and you walk around a lot, I really highly recommend um, getting some socks from MeUndies. So check them out there. Well, grow spirals and a crisis. No. Right. I guess I wait a turn on that anyway. Give them a turn to find a wilderness reclamation. Uh, that mean that's my rank here on arena, the one twenty three. Really hope they just drew reclamation. Nope, they did not. Alright, well, it's not looking amazing for us because they have an Ascanta. It's going to be tough t to beat Ascanta. Especially because just at any at any point they could just draw a Reclamation and then we're in a lot of trouble. Um, I mean, Thieves are a better card. Yeah, I'll just... They could have just found a counter spell. Hopefully not. I'm gonna play the better card. Yeah, this is Reclamation Nexus. they're really looking for blink of an eye that does mean if they'd find something else that's not blink of an eye I would have the ability to like thought erasure it away yeah we played new Ugin the first time we played 
the deck. I didn't love it. I, th I think I like Liliana more. It's close, though. I don't think it's worth it for me to sit back and hold up Sabotage for the rest of the game. I still have a Sabotage? Yuck. Right, so that's the third one of those. Honestly, I'm not... I don't know, Kyoko. Kyoko, I, d I don't know what would be a good rank. Honestly. Yeah, I'm liking this version more, Weedock. I guess I may start just calling it regular Grixis Control instead of Grixis Control V2. We're not winning this game with Reclamation on the battlefield. That as Kanta, our opponent drew, was perfect. It was at such a, such a great time right after my duress. My turn one duress, and then uh, right before my turn two thought erasure, you know, like they just drew right at the time where they got to be on the play and drop it on turn two. Liliana kills things, and it's also a threat. I am Tavio. I know I noted this somewhere. I think it's way too early to say top three decks. Way too early for that. Oh, right. They can't sacrifice Tamiyo. I forgot about Tamiyo's top part that, yeah, you can't sacrifice Tamiyo. I forgot about that. I hope they counter it. They have a backup root snare too. Good job, Jolner. We're locked out. We're not winning this.
I think you will find my notes helpful. They're taking the rest of the turns of the game. This is going to be tough. Um, I got to play one of these. I guess I'm playing a hostage taker. <clears throat> this is going to be tough. Uh, do you think Masker Girl will be played in some decks? Not really, no. Did you run into much Nexus? No. This is my first time to play against Nexus in a, in a long time. Yeah, we could, could have Unmored Ego in the sideboard for this matchup. Um, I mean, I do think Tamiyo is just amazing in, the, in, this, in our opponent's deck. I don't I don't have an I don't really have enough in my sideboard for this matchup to make it like I have 60 cards in my deck that I want to play. I still have you know like the Liliana, the Hostage Taker, uh some like those Bedevils, a couple of them at least. I still have a, a you know like 3 to 5 cards that I don't want um in my deck right now, but I'm a little more focused on aggro. I could see Kefnet doing some good work for us. The build with the ability to copy discard spells. Yeah, Baldu, I think so. I need a reset arena here. It's just I need to give it the good old reset. Yeah, I mean, that's a good call, Noxie. I mean, I haven't played against a ton of Nexus, so we, we don't need to, like, have our sideboard filled against it. But, of course, that can change. <laughs> yeah, I need to play another Blackland. Good call. Alright, so they get to Reclamation plus have Negate up. Perfect card off of Kefnet. Love it. It's just a copy. It's like, they're going to negate this. And then we get the regular one. Also. Um, yeah, Kefna is pretty cool. So casting this, they don't have the ability just to put two counters on Blast Zone. 
you know, I could like try to wait and be able to double spell with like Azkanta and Dragon God, but then they get to put two counters on Blast Zone to be able to kill Kefnet. So I'm making them use their mana there. But I guess Blast Zone would kill their Reclamation also, so it would kill Kefnet and Reclamation. So that's just a good trade for us. Because we obviously Kefnet just goes back. Ugh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. I play, you know, Thief dies immediately to Blast Zone. This, like, you know, I don't know, they spend more mana than Blast Zone, but this this cycles and gets rid of one of their permanents, or, you know, just one of their cards. Getting rid of resources is really important against the Reclamation deck. So getting rid of each resource you can. Very important. My revenge will be painful. Witness a moat of my power. Still could, of course, die if they just, you know, hit a bunch of Nexus of Fates. Yeah, I can't stop that as Canter from flipping. So good chance we lose because of how good Escanta and Wilderness Reclamation are. Good chance we lose. Yes, for all the people asking about Ugin for enchantment removal. Certainly considered it, but I don't think it's good enough. I don't think, like, we could play it over the Liliana, potentially. Like, that, maybe, but very, very expensive. I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies. Seek and, and find. I don't think that's really the game you want to play. All right, I don't think our opponent can miss anymore. That's the rest, that's the rest of the games there. Correct, yeah, Liliana's horrible in this matchup. Like I said, I don't, I don't have 60 cards right now that are good in that matchup. I am playing some really bad cards in my deck in that matchup for other, you know, to make other matches better. How do they win? Uh, we saw a... Oh, oh! I wanted to reset this. Dang it. Uh, they just play a... Um, a Krasis. We saw a Krasis game one. They just play anything. Uh, you're too late, Shock. Sorry. The restart client. I forgot. Yeah, Noxie, y'all are a little late, sorry. Ugh. <clears throat> Alright, I'll try to remember to reset after this one. Of course, do you think Wilderness Reclamation is oppressive? I mean, I don't... 
depends on how, what the word oppressive really means. It's a word that people throw around all the time, but what do they really mean by that? It's my, it's, you know, up there of maybe my least favorite standard card that's ever been printed. I don't care for it one bit. I don't, I don't think it's designed, I don't think there's anything good that Wilderness Reclamation does for people playing Magic. This is a second blue. We don't really need a second blue. They can't Vivian now. They could Hostage Taker. Obviously, Cast Down's an, an answer here, but like a Hostage Taker, we have, of course, the removal for. Oh, I should shock in there for the Bedevil. I guess I'm probably going to be playing Eldritch Reborn next turn. Yep. Should have shocked in for Bedevil. Bedevil, then Reborn. The big problem with Reborn, though, is Vivian. Yay, no Vivian. So now we know our Reborn should be safe. I have two cards over here right now. Let's get rid of those things. I think we can probably, you know, I think we can probably beat these cards. But yeah, them having cards like Krasis, really good late game cards in their deck. No, Reclamation does not rotate this fall. Find. Tilt. Axial, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. All right, so we're going down to two. pretty good for them yeah that hurt all right we need these ritual of sets in here and the hostage takers and Okay, what are we taking out?
Cards that I'm considering are Duress, Moment of Craving, Thief of Sanity, Eldest Reborn. I'm going to take out the two moments, one Duress, and uh, one Reborn. Kefnet could be could be good. Would Kefnet be better than the fourth Nicol Bolas, the Ravager? Enter the God Eternals here. That's a really expensive removal spell. I don't think I want Kefnet or Enter the God Eternals. I could see maybe Kefnet. I don't think I want Enter the God Eternals. Like, we're basically just killing a two-mana two, two mana creature, maybe a three-mana creature with our five-mana spell. Yeah, we get, we get a 4-4. Four, four, but they can, they can deal with 4-4s four, pretty easily. Five mana is a lot. I don't, I don't think I want that card... Is it, is it game changing? No, like after they play, if they play Wild Growth and Jade Light, then we don't even get to kill Wild Growth Walker with our five mana removal spell. We like just kill the Jade Light, but they still like attack over it with a Wild Growth Walker. It's for the aggro decks where the the life gain is really important and the four four body is more. It's, so it's it's like our card against mono red. Enter the God Eternals there. It's it's awesome in that matchup. And yeah, I think that's basically what we have for for our mono red matchup. No, it's not too slow against Mono Red. Your the rest of your deck are is just like cheap removal spells. So like that's the whole rest of your deck is interacting with theirs, and then you get to five mana, you play that. It helps you pull ahead, of being a big body that attacks and ends the game. Playing the Drowned Catacomb because of the other Nicol Bolas needing three black. Yeah, the tap lands were brutal for sure. We didn't get to play, you know, our cards on on turn two at all. Like, an S would have been really nice. Well, this version of Grixis definitely feels a whole lot worse than the other version of Grixis against Sultai without playing 
all the ritual of sets and disinformation campaigns and stuff. Cards are a lot more vulnerable. We weren't really very close to winning those games. All right, we restarted this time. Y'all were still a little late, but I got there. Restarted. <laughs> I remember to do it this time. All right, four and two. It's five thirty. Let's play one more with Grixis Control. We got three more decks to play. So let's play one more. Hopefully, get to five two. And then we'll move on to our other decks. So we just find any land at all, as Kanto should help us find other lands. I'm going to keep this with a scry. Without a scry, we would not be keeping this. You know, if it was like a seven card hand. All right, that's a land. The gruel list is in there. We're going to change at least one card. That's where the, the list is. All right, so mono white. So we did beat mono white earlier. We had a lot better hands than this. I've not been seeing a, very much mono blue. It's still around, but it's not as popular as it used to be. We're going to play the, the mid range. That's why it says mid range, not dinosaurs. My best chance of winning this is finding one mana creatures on their side that can keep trading with their things with this thief oh yeah we'll be playing the boar god definitely Mono blue is not destroyed by Blast Zone whatsoever. Okay, there's only one deck that's playing Blast Zone. The, the Simic Reclamation deck. If there were a lot of people playing Blast Zone, then sure, you could say that Mono blue would begin her by Blast Zone, but basically nobody's playing the card. Sonic, thank you so much. I would like to see a deck built around the new Ugin leaving the rest to you. Okay. Want to build around new Ugin. Alright. I can do that. Alright, let me write that down. Thanks, Orasonic.
So build around New Ugin. Alright, cool. I got you down. Alright, will do. Welcome to the channel, Slackum. Thanks for that tier 1 sub. Alright, so that's sub number 14? Yeah, 14 of the day. So yeah, this hand's not very good, but at least, you know, we have good good lands, you know, we got a lot of mana that we get to um, uh, so we can draw into our other spells that we get to use. I'll feel a little bad for not casting turn one duress if they have legions landing there. Alright, good, not legions landing. Yeah, new bol no, new bolus is really good. Like it quite a bit. All right, so they have two baffling ends in their hand, which are both dead. So can we win on a mold? Our opponent's molding to five. Can we still win? Who knows? It's a good card to draw. Is Nickel Bulls good enough to con conquer Ravnica? Not quite that good. I wouldn't say conquer Ravnica good. That's the other card that I cut from. I thought there was something I was missing that I cut before that I didn't cut this time. That I had the fourth duress, like, you know, two cards, because I thought I played the fourth duress in the first Thief of Sanity last time. I wasn't seeing, like, what those two cards were, and that's what they were. They were the two Angrass Rampages. Yeah, I don't I don't know this ranked system. Yeah, we we moved up like 400 positions in two games, moved back down. You know, we're at like last game we're at like 2 something, we lose, we're at 600 something. I don't know what that's all about. Hopefully they draw a couple lands. Yeah, we should be top 1,000 by Tuesday. Should be just fine there, but who knows? We may go on a losing streak. I won't be devastated if we're not top 1,000. It's no big deal either way. Oh, I guess that was a really tough decision whether or not to cast the Conclave Tribunal. Momo Cravings haven't looked too good. Like, that's the second time against... Second time against Mono White that we haven't been able to kill a Benelish Marshal because we've had a moment of craving. So 
So definitely possible that we should just be playing... As, as I talked about before, of like some things that, considering changing, just play cast down instead of moment of craving. I should not have had the Angrass Rampage in my deck. But, you know, that could have been like the extra duress there. That was, you know, just a, a horrible card that was in my deck that didn't do anything. That was not supposed to be in my deck after sideboarding. Um... No, no interest in playing Bedeck Bedazzle. Well, Bedeck does actually kill uh, those other things. If, I, if I'm going to play a non-Moment of Craving, like, I either want Moment of Craving to gain life, or I want a, a spell that kills a lot of things, including Tempest Gin and Wild Growth Walker and stuff like that. We have the Cry of the Carnariums over there. Yeah, I think the cast down's probably better. Yeah, it's, that's that's the thing, is that the life gain with moment or cast down that's the more reliable removal spell. That's not, you know, exactly sure there. But um, we did draw the Liliana one time, and the Liliana was, or like, you know, we played Liliana like one time that was really good against like an Esper deck. I'm not sold on it though. I, I think I want something else that's cheaper than Liliana. I don't think I want a six mana card there. What if... We just have a Kefnet in the main. Kefnet's been pretty nice. I've been pretty happy with Kefnet. I think I want to try Kefnet next time. Um, if we wanted something else against Wilderness Reclamation, that's like where we could play some Narsets for that matchup. You know what, I'll, I'll try out Tyrant Scorn. I, I don't think, I'll try that out for the next time against Cast, instead of Cast Down. I didn't think I was going to like Tyrant Scorn um, very much, but, you know, we played that with the Esper Hero deck, and I actually liked it. I actually liked it quite a bit. I'm Yeah, I'm fine trying out Tyrant Scorn for that slot. I, I think I underrated that card. Yeah, I'm still not, not completely sold on the Hostage Takers. But they're, you know, they're for, like, aggro and for other creature decks. Like, you know, they like they would have been great to draw against, like, against that Soul Tie opponent. Like, they would have been great to have to take, like, the Jade Light Ranger. You know, people, like, they didn't have any, like, their removal was Kral Harpooner. And it would have been good to have against Mono White that last game. If you think about, you know, like, if it's it's good after sideboarding. Yeah, Tyrant Scorn does kill all the things in all the aggro decks. And it does kill uh, Krasis and Wild Growth Walker all of the time. It doesn't get rid of Adanto Vanguard. But I like it. I could I could see moving more towards it, maybe away, a less away from Lava Coil. I'm not sure about this Kefnet in the main. I don't know. Hmm. 
Maybe just a contempt there. Maybe just one contempt. Yeah, that Kefnet with the Thought Erasure play was was really awesome. All right, fine. We'll we'll try we'll try Kefnet next time. All right, so next time we're gonna try <clears throat> try Tyrant Score and try Kefnet. Liliana's okay. Not I'm not sure we need Liliana. But there we go. All right, so that's Grixis Control version two. Um, yeah. So that's that one. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned some stuff. You know, we're still, there's just so many different cards that are just like condi conditionally good in different matchups, different times that we're still trying out. Um, you know, we went one and one against uh, Mono White, lost to Sultai, lost to Wilderness Reclamation, uh, beat Esper a couple of times, uh, and beat Amir. <clears throat> I think that was our other win. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll keep working on it. Um, keep trying it out.